Hello there, I'm Mr. Lad, and the last few days of my life were so uneventful that I don't even have a joke to make at the beginning of the video. Anyway, today's video is about the new Orc and Void and Orc and Derelict mission types introduced with the Update 15. Sabotage missions. For those who participated in the Operation Gatecrash event, these missions are nothing new, but for anyone else, they're a new experience. The first mission in the Arkwing quest is an Orc and Void sabotage mission. You progress through a void tile set with hidden caches and your main objective is to sabotage a portal that the enemy are using to gain access to the void. Which is a big no-no according to Rebecca, I mean the Lotus. To destroy said portal you have to activate two terminals, one at a time, and defend them from the enemy. You activate them by solving a cipher. Once both these terminals are powered up, you make your way through the portal. On the other side of the portal there's a boss fight. If you were doing the Orc and Derelict sabotage, there are two really, really angry Gurnir chicks with jetpacks. Or if you were doing the Orc and Void sabotage, there's a Jackal or Hyena type boss. Once you kill these, they drop a key to the ground. You take that key, which you carry like a data mass, meaning you can only use your secondary and your melee weapon. You carry the key back to the portal where you use it on a torsion beam device, that laser-powered sex toy, and you blow it up so the Gurnir and Corpus can't have their naughty fun. After you blow it up, you make your way back through the portal to the Auric and Derelict or Void tile set, depending on what mission you're doing. Now let's talk about those bosses. The Grenier tricks are, in my opinion, much harder than the Corpus boss. The only way to damage them is to hit their jetpacks, which is pretty annoying considering they fly around, move, turn, and all sorts of other maneuvers that make it hard to hit their weak spot. I'd recommend using stealth frames like Loki or Ash to take them out before they even know you're there. Go invisible before you enter the room they're in, or they will switch to an alerted state. The Corpus boss is much easier because all you need to do is kill the Ospreys that follow it around, and then you can beat the crap out of it pretty quickly. Another thing to take note of is that Volts will spawn within the Orc and Derelict sabotage missions. Another feature in these missions are resource caches. These resource caches are nothing but lockers hidden around the Void or Derelict tile sets in these sabotage missions. In the Orc and Derelict sabotage, the first two seem to drop nothing but credits and fusion cores of various rarities, but the third cache drops rare materials such as neurodes, neural sensors, organ cells, and others. But most importantly, it can also contain 25 oxium, which is well worth the time investment. In the Orc and Void sabotage, the first locker contains a credit cache or a fusion core, the second locker contains rare materials like the third one in the Orc and Derelict sabotage, and the last locker contains a prime part or a blueprint. Click on one of these annotations to go to a video of me doing Orc and Derelict or Avoid Sabotage mission. In these videos, I go through the missions finding all the caches and showing you extra spots where you can look for them. That's all regarding the new sabotage missions. If this video helped you figure out how to do them, leave a like. It takes a second of your time, but helps me out a shit ton. Click subscribe to win the game.